Is this thing on? Okay, whatever. Um, hey, it's KJM, and I'm just getting home from like the city or whatever, and I wanted to do a quick Manic Monday video. Okay, first and foremost, trying to put my cell phone back up on the tripod, I almost like broke a nail. Okay, and these are my real nails. Okay, and you see they got butterflies on it. I literally almost broke my nail I'm trying to do this. Now, the main reason why I'm doing like another Instagram live is because like I'm still not comfortable with going live. So as you know, like I went live with my friend and fellow blogger, Tenacious T on Saturday. So shout out to you, T. Hope all's going well. Um, and it was like an amazing experience to do a joint uh, Instagram live. But uh, I'm still not used to Instagram Live and I'm still trying to figure out how to operate it. So if you were watching this last Monday, how Manic Monday goes, I walk in the door, I don't take off my subway clothes fully, and I just tell y'all how I'm feeling this Monday and you guys let me know how you're feeling. So Tenacious T and I, um, we, on Saturday, we covered spinsters. What is a spinster? And there was, you know, Forbes had something to say. Huffington Post had something to say. Some people said, you know, some some older articles said that if you were over 28 and unmarried, um, that you were a spinster. Some said if you were between 40 and 50 as a woman that, you know, um, and getting close to menopause or entering menopause and still had not had children or been married, you would be a spinster. For other people, it's like you're a spinster if you're just, no, you just don't got a man. So it doesn't matter whether you have children or not. I don't know. It was a little frustrating because the one thing we realized is the word for men is always going to be bachelor. So he could be a 95-year-old bachelor. But my 38-year-old self is being limited to spinster because I'm unmarried and I don't have children. That's some real messed up stuff. But you know, like when I talk to my friends of all ages about dating, okay, and I have friends, like I said, in their 50s, 60s, whatever dating. Did y'all know that there's a senior fuckboy edition? There are fuckboys in their 50s and 60s. Now, don't get me wrong. I know I have OGs in my family who either used to be married or are married. Um, you know, being faithful wasn't really their thing. Um, and OGs are a little bit different than, than fuckboys because OGs got, they got a playlist. Like they, their playbook may go back to like 1960s. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta watch out for those older men. But I didn't know that there was an older version of fuckboys. Still guys who can't commit. They want to lay up in your bed. They want all the benefits of a relationship, but they don't want to give you anything. So I was kind of like frustrated that even my, and my, my friends in their 50s and 60s are dealing with some of the issues I'm dealing with in my 30s. Like, what are we supposed to be? Like, women, what are we going to be doing? Like, what are we to do? So it kind of frustrated me because I'm like, when do guys grow up? And I'm not saying that every woman is like the best woman out there. I'm always very honest that I'm working on my journey to be better to myself and hopefully one day be better to um, a future partner. You know, I'm always working on myself, but I very rarely hear guys say that they're working on themselves of like any age group. Yeah, I mean, that's just really crazy. So at 95, if he is unmarried, he's still a bachelor and still considered a catch knocking on death's door but he's still a catch and i'm a spinster who probably is about to live in a house filled with cats that's some real messed up stuff so i hope you guys caught that that instagram live with tenacious t and i as we discussed what is a spinster why are men still called bachelors i mean it's all some messed up stuff as far as me, like dating is so rough because I refuse to online date. I refuse to. Now, I tell a lot of my readers and followers, if online dating is working for you, that's fine. I always just think that like, that it's just like a serial killer just waiting there. There's millions of them. And when I log on, they're like, duh, 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 duh. like, I can't do it. And like most of the guys that I've dated like the longest, I usually meet through someone I know so they can at least vouch for at least that they're not crazy. Even though some people will lie for the guys, I'm not gonna lie because I done been duped a time or two before on what I got. So 
Dating is rough and it seems like it's rough in any age group. I have friends in their 40s, 50s, and 60s still dealing with fuck boys. And for those of you who don't know what a fuck boy is, it's just a waste of time guy. A, just, it's never gonna go anywhere. They're not gonna be anything. They're really not that much to themselves. So I don't know what they could really be for you. Um, but sometimes we love them and we care about them. I mean, it's, it is what it is, right? So I don't know how to maneuver dating. So I just kind of don't do it right now. You know what I mean? I just kind of don't do it. And I saw a tweet the other day that said that the lesbian community is sorry that straight women have to put up with straight men that don't have their shit together, but they do not want to be housing single women who are not real lesbians. So we cannot run to the lesbian community and just hold hands and cuddle with a woman, okay? If you don't die, they don't want you. And I get it, because sometimes I'm always like, wow, I wish I could be one so I could just like be done with men, right? They don't want fake lesbians. They don't want the ones that are just going to be trying it out. And they don't want somebody like me that's just going to want to cuddle. Um, I don't even know if I can really cuddle with a woman. But you know, someone who is not physically attracted to women in that kind of way. So the lesbian community is saying they just want lesbians, okay? So um, single women, you know, stick to spinsterhood and or being the cat lady or whatever, but don't join the lesbian community because they want you to be serious about being there. And I can understand that. That's just like for us straight women, we want straight men who are serious about being with us. You know what I'm saying? So I get that, I get that. So dating is hard. I also know marriage is hard. 99% of my friends um, are married, whether they're gay, straight, whatever. The thing I don't understand is I have wonderful male friends that I grew up with that are excellent husbands. Now, of course, I'm not in their marriages, but like my BFF, Zach, I've known him since August 1999. And I know that he goes out of his way to make his wife feel special. So I don't understand. I have these amazing male friends that I grew up with, but like I didn't choose any of them. I didn't date any of them. Are any of y'all feeling that way? That maybe there was someone that was good for you that you passed up and you friend zone. And it's not like I purposely friend zone, guys. Um, I grew up with my closest cousin was a guy or is a guy. So I grew up always going out with my cousin D and all his male friends, and I'm the only female in the crew. And how he is, is like, you cannot talk to me. That was his thing, like I am off limits. So I've learned to develop relationships and friendships with guys where they're just the homie. I don't smash the homie, I would say 98% of the time. So I've had male friends, you know, since childhood growing up and we have never had any kind of sexual anything going on so if you were one of my close male friends wives or life partner do not worry i did not sleep with your man i just want to clear that up because i know some of you always wonder but yes men and women can be friends you know literally i mean my ex crazy used to say if you grow up with a guy it's a chance but after a certain age no no straight man really wants to be your friend I don't really know about that. I don't really know about that. I have some new male friends, but like, I don't really, I don't really treat them like I do like my brothers. So for example, my BFF Zach, his wife knows how to find me. She'll always know how to find me. So he can contact me any hour of the night or morning that he needs to because I know his wife knows where to find me. You know what I mean? So, and some of my other friends, husbands or whatever, like, Shout out to like all of them, like your wives know where to find me. So if they ever even thought something inappropriate, which they know me well, they know where to find me. But for my new newer male friends, whether baby mamas or wives may not know me, uh, especially now that the days are getting shorter, please do not contact Kingston unless it's between the hours of nine to five. Work hours, and I would prefer the sun to be up. So in about a month, the sun will probably be down, be setting around 4.30. Don't text me, call me, whatever. Because I'm gonna let you know right now, especially for those with the baby mamas, that you don't want your baby mama to contact me because I, it's never gonna go well. We didn't mess around and then I'm gonna have to check her and then I'm ignorant too, it's gonna mess everything up. 
So between the hours of nine to five, preferably with the sun up, if you if you want to tax, if you were, you know, and I would say a recent homie is a guy I've known like less than 10 years. If I've known you at least 10 years, your wife or baby mama or whatever, like if we're really friends, she's met me or she knows something about me and she knows that I'm not after you. So I'm gonna clear that up. For those of you out there that are single or still looking for a better man, like how's it going for you guys? What are you guys doing? Is online dating working for you? Like in the New York, New Jersey area, you can meet a million like guys like on the subway. That doesn't mean that you're gonna meet like quality though. Though I do like it up here better than when I'm down south. I really felt there was like a scarcity. I think when I was in the Raleigh dorm area, I think for every 20 women, there was one man. I don't got time for those numbers. So at least in New York, there'll be a lot of guys is just trying to get them to want to be serious. It's just, it's, it's hard. And I'm gonna say this too. Um, if you're a fuck boy of a mature age, 50s, 60s, 70s, playing these games, and not being upfront with the women in your life and you just think that all you're going to do is add pleasure, let me just let you know. The older y'all men get is the more the pleasure is decreasing. The dick may barely work. So you really need to get into the hugging and cuddling and everything and you really need to get into, you know, choosing a good woman before you get to the point where you cannot wipe your own ass. Cause I'm gonna let you know something right now mistresses are not going to wipe your ass. It's always the wife that will come and get you out the home. Your mistress, your young mistress, the minute that dick ain't working and the mind starts wandering, you're going in a home. So for all the married men out there right now, stay faithful. My daddy always says like, women outdo men in, 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 in love and cheating, and especially cheating. So he's like, guys don't do it unless you got the women's playbook. Because he says, you know, we, we women, we do it well. And I have to agree, but I'm not going to touch on that topic right now because it's just Manic Monday. It's not, you know, maybe that's really a no makeup Sunday where we could really talk about potential cheating, um, you know, amongst women. Like, amongst women. Because that's something we don't like to talk. We all want to be like Virgin Mary and pretend like we ain't never cheated on a guy. And some of y'all deserve to get cheated on. I'm not even trying to be funny. Okay, some of y'all probably we should have slept with your brother, your cousin, somebody. Because some of y'all was out there doing wrong, sleeping with everybody in our communities, our moms, our sisters, our whatever. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I know that's ignorant. So, I mean, that's my Manic Monday rant. I'm single. I'm open. I am not going to let society classify me as a spinster. Um, I think I have a big heart. And I'm dying to, like, meet a guy that... He knows right off the bat that I'm the one for him and that he's, you know, serious enough because he's going to have to teach me. This is the one area relationships. They're the one area like romantic relationships that I'm behind on. So it would be nice to have a guy that like I can actually rely on that he's consistent. That if something is falling apart in my life, you know, first call will be to daddy. But, you know, second call will probably be to one of my brothers. But then third call will probably be him. That would be nice. That would be nice to have that kind of man that I could rely on. For all y'all checking in, Mish and Feel Good Kadeen, like, how are things going for you guys? Like, are y'all still there? Like, let me know, even if you want to privately inbox me, how dating is going. Shout out to PG County, okay? PG County, Maryland. I, I used to live out there, okay? I lived in College Park, right next to Laurel, right next to the University of Maryland. Shout out to the Derps. Um, and that's my Manic Monday spiel. One last thing to say, yo, those of you at the Port Authority in New York, okay, when you're going up those narrow escalators, please do not try to push past people because it's not a two-way thing. So there's some escalators like in the port where you stand on the right and people could walk up on the left. But then there are some narrow ones that are going on certain bus levels that only one person at a time can be going up. So we're on steps on the escalator, okay? Some of y'all are pushing to go nowhere in rush hour. Realize some people are disabled. I could be pregnant and you behind me trying to huff and puff and run for your bus. Okay, it's rush hour. The bus is going to be there when it's going to be there. Hold your horses, okay? Before I go, I want to say... Happy Indigenous Peoples Day! Um, I know that the Native American community would rather get their land back. I get that. Um, but until then, 
Um, I'm just going to say that this is a day that many of us are looking into your history and trying to learn more um, because Native American history, more than any other type of history, is American history. That's what I'm saying. All right, it's KJM. I'm out because it looks like my neighbors got their kids playing in the hallway again and you guys are going to hear it and they got four kids, okay? And them twins be bad as hell. All right, I'm out. Let, let me know how it's going with you for dating, with work, topics you may want me to cover. I'm using this Instagram lighting because last week, Manic Monday, I didn't use it, right? But with Tenacious T, when we did our chat uh, Instagram Live, one of my uh, close family friends set up this whole thing for me. And I look so good in all like my makeup, even from being out all day. Okay, I know I don't look great now because the subway does shit to you. For any of you, you under there is hot steam. You with funky people. I mean, it's, it's a lot. So, but anyway, I noticed that the lighting makes a difference even for Insta Live. So however I can look great or better, I'm gonna try to do that in case my future husband is watching. Okay guys, I'm out because I need to like take these clothes off, get into my PJ, put on my silk bonnet, and catch up on some of my shows. All right, one love, and let me know if you want me to keep doing these Manic Monday quick Insta Live videos because then, you know, I can't ever give an exact time. As y'all know, NJ Transit and MTA, they run on their own schedule. So I get home when I get home, but I literally put everything down and then I set this up and then I come to you guys and that's what I do. All right. Um, thank you so much for my sisters that join me. Mish, Mish Me 9 and Feel Good Kadeem. Thank you so much. I love you guys for all the support. All right. One love and let's see if I can figure out how to close this thing and end this thing because now I'm on my own, right? All right. Peace.